have my little bits here. So what I did was I just got these little cups because these are nice circles to work with. And I cut two circles out of these. If you want the actual dimensions though, let's take a look at those because that might help too. We have one and three quarter size circle and a three inch circle. And then just a little strip of a little rectangle, two, two by five and a half. So that's that's what we need to make the hat right there. Not much at all. Not much, yeah. yeah. Um, the something I really like to use is my water brush pen because it's instead of dipping in water and um, you know maybe dripping onto my wafer, it's just a nice controlled way to get my wafer damp and to have it stick to itself. I really did that, but you could use a paintbrush. So that's uh, that's pretty much our supply list right there. Oh, Easy. I lied. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna <laughs> add another supply though, of course. <laughs> Um, something round. I like my um, my paintbrush here. I just like to curl the edges of my large circle to start. So I just roll it up a little bit. And the other side the same way. So that, that kind of a larger size paintbrush. Just get a nice little bend oh, to this. Lori, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> she put me up on the screen. Good. Let's see you. I'm away now. I'm gone. So we're looking for a for a Pringle here, right? Little Pringle chips shape there. Yeah. Um, next, and of course, there's a textured side and a smooth side. You want the smooth side up, unless you want, you know, like a texture kind of a hat thing. Um, so the same thing. I want I want it to be smooth on the outside. So I'm going to kind of test first just to see if it'll fit my circle pretty well here. And so it looks like I want a, an overlap of about a quarter of an inch here, just so that it's about the size of my circle. I don't want it to be bigger than my circle. It can be smaller than my circle, but I don't want it to be, you know, too far off. So I know I have about a quarter of an inch, so I'm just gonna take my little water brush pen. I like to feel how much water is on there on my hand. And then I'm just gonna paint a little quarter of an inch with some little water. So um, uh, Barbie wants to know if you conditioned the paper with the paper potion before um, before you started, but I'm thinking you did That's not true. at this time. I did year. not, I did not. Didn't need to. And a lot I of that just, was, oh, go ahead. Oh, just, I did um, condition this little bit here so that it would fold mm -hmm. nicely. So the little decorative part I did, but not on the hat. Cause I want it yeah. to be kind of stiff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it should roll well within that size. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you um, tell me again what the dimensions, sorry, somebody's asking me yeah, yeah. of each piece was you had the, what is a one and a quarter inch circle? So let me make sure I don't want to say it wrong here. One and three quarter. Three quarters. The smaller. Mm -hmm. And then it was three inch circle for the larger one. And then two inch, I believe it was by five. Let's see, That's one by five. Yeah, yeah, a little, and maybe a little bit longer. So that one oh. can be kind of adjusted. All right, there's the list. I, I, I got my little tube there. And so I'm gonna take my water brush pen again. I'm gonna just run it along. And actually, I, I do like to have some little precision scissors. If, if you do have like this little difference of height here, I just like to trim that. It's not a big deal. I just want it to be pretty flat so it'll connect well to my brim. So if you have any overage there, just a little quick trim will work. I got some water here. So just, I'm brushing it right along the edge of my tube. Just a little bit of water. And then Again, I want to be smooth side up and I'm just going to kind of put it down there, push it right down to the circle. I love how wafer just wants to stick to itself. It's so simple. It's like just effortless to get it to stick together. So we'll let that little, just make sure it's all has a good connection there. And so we have a little bit of an overage, which is fine. 
we can trim that off. So again, with the little tiny little scissors, these are deadly. Look how sharp these are. Oh, yeah. Thanks, I need to turn my phone down, huh? <laughs> it's going boing, boing, boing. I heard that. So just a little trim right up next to the tube so that it's, you know, flush Those to that. Times, they're a little bit curved, aren't they? They kind of remind yeah, they me do. of nail clippers from a long time ago. Yeah, they're like, I think they're called cuticle. Yes, clippers. that's what they are. But I just don't use them on my cuticles. <laughs> wow. these, are, these are reserved just for cookies. These are not multi-purpose. <laughs> the additional ingredient. Ew. <laughs> I do like to keep these little bits because these come in handy. So these little slivers, these little toenails. Ew. Okay, no, no, we're not. <laughs> um, I do like to keep these. I, I do. I will just take my water brush pan again, and I'll just brush along the bottom of one of like one of the larger ones. And then I'll just stick them to each other, like so. And then I have this adorable little feathery bit that will look so cute on my hat later. Awesome. So we'll just save those little snippets off to the side. Um, so we have our tube, it's nice and flush now. So I'm gonna just run that water Again, that water brush right along the edge of our tube. You got them going now, Artie. Oh no, ew. <laughs> yeah, they're, they'll say we got, I like to keep my toenails too. And <laughs> you actually pick up straight toenails the same way. <laughs> like, oh, oh God. And it's like, and then I started reading Kathy Lorenzo. My grandchildren love to eat, that's the first line. My scraps away for paper. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. ready to go, ew! <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna drop my little hat. I, it will kind of bend because of that little, where it's connected in a, to an oval, which I like because that continues that feel of a little hat anyway. And I'm just gonna press down and where it's wet, it's gonna wanna stick to that brim. Boom, it's a hat. Like, how easy is that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was easy. It's a hat. I right? It's so simple. And of course, you know, now is where you really get to play around with it. Um, so on this one, of course, I airbrushed it with some rose gold first, which it took the the airbrush beautifully. Um, and then I used a flex frost little strip for the ribbon, which I love that texture. It's so it's so nice, like kind of mm -hmm. like velvety, and just to put some florals. And again, there's my little scraps of, of a wafer there for feathery little bits. I tried it with a <gasps> printed wafer. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, I did try it just for fun in um, Smartsheet. It's a little too, it was a little too soft. Like it was too flexible where the wafer was just a little sturdier. Uh, but this, I do love the texture of that one. It's so you know, just so pretty and soft. Um, I did it. I figured I could kind of decorate this one as a steampunk one. So this one's again, airbrushed, just a little brown airbrush. If you want to cut open the top, it's really simple. Um, I just like to start like with a little bit of water kind of right where, you know, just in case you wanted to put it on like a, a little character, like a little, uh, Watch him a jigger. Um, <laughs> like a, if you had a topper, you know, like a little character that you made out of yeah. fondant or anything. Uh, it's easy to do, to put it right on their head, you know. Yeah. So I just go in there and I just cut out right up next to the brim there. They're loving it's your totally, idea. totally wearable. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn said, ooh. Boss smart sheet to create the hat. Ooh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, so I made some little goggles to put on my kind of steampunk one. I can put a little, am I on that? There we go. Goggles on the steampunk one. Um, more feathers, you know, more wafer feathers, butterflies. Um, so I did, uh, let's see, where are they? Oh, here they are. 
I made little hat bands here. So just using that great, the flex frost, you know, that's, it's just like fabric. I love it. I just painted this one. I don't, I don't have fancy printers or anything. So all my, all my use of edible paper is just painted and things like that. But I imagine you could like print like a, you know, all kinds of things. Yeah. You can even create lace out of that using the flex frost. Oh, right. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. So you can wrap the little hat with a little bit of the flex frost. Oh my gosh, is that adorable? This one. So do you air, you airbrushed it before creating the hat or after? This one is a printed piece that of the wafer. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I was thinking I would try airbrushing it too. I think that would work great just to stencil, use a stencil and airbrush it. Definitely printing is an option if you have a printer, if you're cool like that. <laughs> but on the um, the black one you did, did you airbrush that first? Before I airbrushed, I airbrushed after I okay. built it. Got it. Yeah. And I, I kind of did it a little heavier along the brim just for kind of shading. And it, it wrinkled just a bit on the brim, but uh, not too bad. You know, this still kept it shaped pretty well. Um, this one held it shape even better just because it didn't have to be as uh, kind of opaque of a color. Right. So, and you could also just, use dust as well, right? Oh yeah, I haven't tried that. Yeah. So this could be you could do a Willy Wonka hat. You could do a a little leprechaun hat. <laughs> you could do. Oh my gosh, that was cute. Just, you could do so many. You know. Oh my gosh, like a wedding hat. Like how cute would that be? So yeah, I have all these hats that I get to now just decorate. Which I'm thinking this one for the would be a nice contrast for the little steampunk one. Oh, and I have gears too. I have things I can add. You know, this was a big pastime, like in the Victorian era, making hats, right? Yeah. You get your little your little ribbons and your whatnot. So I'll just trim the little piece there. Kathy and... said an Alice in Wonderland hat. Yes, a Mad Hatter hat with little, yeah, that'd be so cute, wouldn't it? You're kind of off screen now. We see the very top of it. There you go. I'm putting just a little I royal think... icing here so that I can stick my ribbon down. Let's see. That is not the ribbon. I That's the, that's the carrier sheet. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> not that I think anyone's going to eat the hat necessarily, but... You know, it some good. Just, yeah, right. And it's nice to have that option, definitely. Um, you just talked about making sure that you what you're using is edible. And it is so true. You, know, you want to make sure that you what you're making is safe and and what you think it is, right? Yeah, I'm kind of on a, um, me and one other girl, she kind of inspired me or on a, this kick about, you know, I think we've relaxed a lot in our industry as to what's food safe, like, edible yeah. and what's not and there's a lot of shortcuts that manufacturers or people who sell things are taking yeah and we're not checking our facts um that it's all usually like right there in front of you so today my email went out it was all about that and it kind of yeah. did, like, disturbing and sad but we gotta do our due diligence since we're feeding people right we have to know what we're using and and sometimes it's not super clear and, and maybe that's where you need to go okay wait what am i putting on this cookie what am i putting on this yeah exactly think about what we're doing yeah uh, so different little feathers and these are all wafer paper feathers as well did you paint those or was that printed yeah so i painted all of these just oh a little gosh. paintbrush and some food coloring and some water Beautiful. when i paint on wafer with water especially i just like to have a layer of wax paper down it can it can take some water it can also take airbrushing really well i know water it can get really messy but um this one's just done in, in water and food coloring here you just want to make sure it dries really flat on the wax paper and then you can peel it right off okay that's a good idea on the wax paper because it holds it down i'm assuming yeah it, it kind of sticks to the wax paper and then it releases really well but it uh yeah, so it does, it will get soft and you want to let it dry completely because as you know, wafer paper likes to kind of dissolve with the uh, with water. Right. Um, I, 
I do have uh, little gears I can put on the side here, little fondant gears. And, uh, Pilgrim's hats. And oh, yeah. And the, uh, Carla Kakeri said, uh, or Heather said, bunny ears for an Easter bonnet. Oh, my heck with that. Oh, I'm loving that. Yeah. Some little gears, or maybe a little lock. Oh, you could do little cards here. Again, wafer paper, just little, little oh. gambler, little little maverick hat, you know. <laughs> um, and the little roses would look great on this this little beauty here. So yeah. Oh goodness, let's put on some gears. I think. Barbie says the wafer paper feathers. You taught them. Uh, you taught us, meaning the Magoobers, how to make those. Yes, the feathers. I I love making feathers out of wafer. They're so realistic looking and so pretty. Yeah, it's perfect. Gear. So, um, did you use a mold for the goggles? Nancy wants to know. I did not. I just piped those with uh, some lettering consistency royal. Let them dry and just brush them with a little bit of gold. Perfect. This is so cute. Like, which feather, which feather? <laughs> no, I want to see Yankee Doodle. <laughs> He's stuck. Would that be cute? Like an Uncle oh, Sam? God, a macaroni. Uncle Sam. So cute. Now, you could also, uh, when you're making those feathers, you could actually paint both sides of that wafer as well. Yes, I, I've done that. Um, and also, um, you know what I love doing when I do feathers? I like to paint it with a mix of the paper potion plus mm -hmm. airbrush color. It's such good coverage and it really doesn't break down the wafer. So I love that too. Yeah. The paper potion, for those of you who don't know, I'll put the link up, but it there's no water in it. And so it doesn't melt things as easily. It almost like conditions it, makes things softer. So it's a good, yeah. it's good for not drying things out. It's like magic. That's why the name is so great too, Paper Potion, right? So look, there's our little steampunk hat. I love that. Now, did you, I want it in my size. I, well, but you can wear that. That's the style, like, isn't it? To have a little tiny hat on your head. <laughs> That's true. Just get a little headband. Yeah. Um, and our little scrap feather thing. Um, you can tuck that in there too. Just that little, little scrappies. I love those. Looks extra just delicate, you know? It's adorable. Let's see, here's the link to that paper potion. And the cogs, those were made. Did mm -hmm. you pipe that as well or did you use a mold? The large one I piped, the smaller one is a mold. There are some great gear molds um, just on Amazon. They're, uh, they're really little shallow molds. So there's so a little, there's, there's, blue. oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, there's just a little bit of a learning curve to doing the really shallow molds, you know, just really scraping it. I like to freeze them so that when they come out, you don't, you know, get, they don't get all warped and wonky. So freezing them and then popping them out. But. Yeah. Marilyn said it's a perfect fascinator, fascinator hat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just a little comb there and then you put it right in your little hair. And Julie Goodwin, and I apologize, she's she's a blue owner and she's kind of nuts like some of us are. She said it would look great with, it, it looks great with the toenails on it. Oh and my gosh. Oh, <laughs> so, dang it. I'm really scared to meet this woman because <laughs> there's too many of us that are nuts and then, oh my gosh, there'll be another one. Aren't we all a little bit nuts? I mean, yeah. we're, we're sitting here making little hats that are edible, you know? <laughs> Well, that's a special cool. kind of crazy, right? Yeah, you're off camera again, sweetie. Okay, we're gonna just trim this little guy as we're as we're chatting. I'm just gonna decorate my other one just because I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, let's make another one. So just again, just a and little then, bit. So nice. another thing too is, so if you're in a like really humid environment and mm. um, maybe this, you know. It, or, or you're going in and out of the freezer, freezer or refrigerator, going up to a smart sheet can help, but mm -hmm. um, but it just depends. So you gotta be prepared depending on your environment 
to, to switch off on things. Or maybe you don't have FlexFrost, but you have wafer or smart sheets and hitting it with paper potion or even an icing sheet would do very, it would react very similarly. Um, the paper, the uh, flex frost is thinner and that's what gives it that fabric like look, but you, sometimes you don't have everything. So. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. I thought the smart sheet would work great for the hat band too. I, I, thought that would work just perfectly. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, we're going to do that. Um, and I have a little bit of green. Hi, Mr. John. <laughs> yeah. Laura says I scared you... easy. It's my imagination. Look, Laura, it's not what you see. It's what goes on in my head is the scary <laughs> part. It's not what you actually, you don't see everything that I see in my head. <laughs> On this one, I'm just using a little green piping consistency. And that way, if anything squeezes out extra, it'll just be foliage, extra leaves. And I have it cut to a leaf tip. So that I, when I pipe some little leaves around it, more greenery, that'll be just the icing on the hat. Huh? And Carol pointed out this icing on the hat. Um, sorry, uh, Carol pointed out that it was <laughs> great with all the leftover pieces already printed. So yeah, so we always tell people to save your scraps mm. because at this scale, you know, you can use tiny little pieces of things that were used with something else previously. Yeah, so smart. You could do a feather. I am thinking no feather for this one. Um, I do have these little bits. So these are wafer paper pieces that I cut with my Sizzix Big Shot. You know, just mm -hmm. the little trimmed stuff, which would be really cute behind here, just a little. So this is where I would use the, the paper potion. So I'm just going to spritz this off camera so I don't spray on everything. So I'm just going to spray that a little. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like heaven. <laughs> it, smells like, <laughs> it smells like vanilla. It's so lovely. I sometimes wear it as perfume. You know, I just dab a little <laughs> behind my ears. <laughs> but that makes it nice, especially this smaller scale paper it makes it nice and flexible. So I'm just kind of pleating it where it would be cracking and stuff if it didn't have that potion on it. Yeah. That's so just cute. gathered it like a little, let me just tuck that back here. One more icing here. Carol says, oh, sorry. Oh, it just stays flexible there so I can kind of adjust the angle like that. Thank you. Carol says, the paper potion is a great room freshener. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally oh, 